Menelik II leads Ethiopia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI. Best remembered for fighting off European powers, modernizing the nation, and ending slavery, Menelik established Ethiopia as a bastion against colonialism. Ethiopia's unique ability is called Oksuomite legacy. Its cities earn extra faith from resources, boosted even further when international trade routes originate from resource-rich cities. The empire can also purchase archaeological museums and archaeologists with faith. Ethiopia's unique unit is the Oromo Cavalry. This cavalry unit replaces the Corsair. It has better combat strength and sight than the Corsair, and receives no movement penalty from moving on hills. Ethiopia's tile improvement, the rock-hewn church, can only be built on hills or volcanic soil. And multiple churches can't be built adjacent to each other. It provides faith and extra faith from adjacent mountains and hills. They can only be pillaged and not destroyed by natural disasters. Once you research flight, rock -hewn churches also produce tourism. Menelik's ability is called Council of Ministers. He gets extra culture and science based on his faith output in cities founded on hills. His units also get extra combat strength when fighting on hills. Ethiopia's focus is on a defensive, religious, and culture-centered game. Claim hill tiles early for your cities. The Council of Ministers ability can keep Ethiopia well-rounded, even as you try to maximize the amount of faith you are producing. If you don't win a religious victory, you can still use faith to purchase archaeologists, naturalists, or even rock bands later in the game, keeping a culture victory within reach. Will you resist the powers that come at you from afar? How will you lead Ethiopia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI?